hello and welcome to the channel today in this tutorial i'll show you how to design the symbol piece here in FreeCAD. and for that we'll use these dimensions in this page here if you want this drawing you can download it on the GrabCAD site okay and if you are not subscribed in this channel please subscribe so it will help me to grow this channel okay and now we create a new file clicking this icon and here we change to part design workbench okay we create new body and create new sketch in xy plane okay here we go to sketch geometry and we select this slot tool here and we click in this horizontal line and now in this line again so here we select this symmetric constraint and we select these two center points and now this origin point and this slot is constrained to this origin point okay so now we'll see the dimension for this sketch so here we see that the radius for the field for the slot is 50 and the distance between the centers is 8 so here we select this tool here and we constrain the radius of this arc to 50 okay and next we select this horizontal distance tool we, cl we click in this or center point and this center point we set 8 and now close this sketch press home and go to pad tool so the length here will be will be 65 this dimension here so here we change this dimension to 65 and click ok and next we'll create a fillet in this edge here so the value of this fillet is 4 so we select this face or we can select this edge here and we go to fillet tool and we change this dimension to 4 and click ok and next what to do is to create a wall in this face here but to do that we'll use the thickness tool this tool here and we'll set the dimension to 3.5 so we come back to this model and here we select this face here and go to this thickness tool first we select this option here make thickness inwards and we change this dimension here to 3.5 and click ok ok now you can see this so next we will create a new sketch in xy plane again switch to section view and here we go to this tool here external geometry and we extract this edge and this edge okay so we'll get these center points here so now we select this slot tool click in this center point and now the center point and here select this equal constraint and make this arc and this arc equal now select this slot tool again and click in this center point and this center point too and here we'll change the edge of this arc here to we'll change to this dimension 55 okay so here we go to this tool here and we select this arc and we set 55 and okay close this sketch and now we go to this pad tool so the value of this pad here will be 5 this dimension here so we change here to 5 and enter and the next step is to create a fillet in this edge here so here we select this edge and we go to fillet tool and in this page we said that the value of the fillet is 2.5 so we change here to 2.5 and then we click ok and next we create another sketch in xy plane ok and here we will extract this edge here this one and switch to section view ok select this tool again and here extract this edge again and switch to section view and now we can see these arcs here 
so here we select this pole line tool and you click in this arc here and you draw this line and now this horizontal line and now we click in this arc here okay and now we select this arc tool click in this origin point and now click in the end point of this line here and draw this arc and now select this center point click in this end point and draw this arc and now select this line tool and connect these two lines now we select this horizontal constraint tool and we constrain this line here and now select these two points and make it constant okay and the next step is to fill out these lines here so in this in this page here we see that the value of the fillet is 10 okay so we come back to this model here and we select this fillet tool we fill out these lines here and these two lines okay and next we select these two arcs and we go to equal constraint tool and now these two arcs is equal and now we'll see the dimension for this sketch so the fillets of these the fillet here the value is 10 so first we select this tool here and we constrain this to 10 and the distance between the center points of the fillet is 7 so here we select this vert this horizontal distance tool and click in these two center points and we set seven okay and we have to constrain these two points to this vertical line here so to do that we select the symmetric constraint select this point and now this point and this vertical line okay and here we can see that the distance between this line here to this line is 34 so we select this vertical distance tool we select this point and now this point here and we set 34 okay and and next here we see this dimension between the center between this line here to this line 28 so here we'll what we'll do here is to select this horizontal distance tool and here we click in this point here and this point and we set 28 okay and to full constraint this sketch here will what we'll do is to select this horizontal constraint and we select this point here and this point and now you can see it's full constraint in this sketch okay and next we'll create these walls here these two walls so the center distance is 64 and the diameter is is 15 and the distance between the center point to this line here is 14 so we come back to this model and we select the cycle tool we draw these two cycles okay and we select these two cycles and we make it equal and next we select this smart constraint click in this center point and now this center point and this vertical line and now we select this constraint tool we change the diameter of these cycles to 14 no is here is 15 you can see here is 15 so double click here and you change it to 15 and now we select this vertical distance tool we select the center point and this point here we set 14 okay and the distance between the centers of these cycles here we know is 64 so we change here and now this sketch is full constrained so the next step is to close this sketch here okay and here we close this sketch and we go to this pad tool so here the length of this pad will be 5 and then we click ok ok guys and next we can create a new sketch 
in YZ plane. Here we switch to section view and and we select this external geometry tool and we extract this edge here. And next we select this polling tool and here we will draw this line here and this horizontal line and now we'll connect to this point here so next here we'll give dimension to this sketch so in this page here we can see this dimension for this line 26 okay and the value of the pad there is 10 okay what we're going to do is this part here so we come back to this model and if you see I will select this vertical distance tool click in this origin point and now this end point here and here we set 5 and then we select this horizontal distance tool we select this line here and we change this dimension to 26 and then close this sketch and go to this pad tool develop this pad this time but here we set smart to plane and click OK. So now what we'll do is to mirror these two parts in this part here. So we'll select this pad and this pad and we go to mirror future. And here you can see we have these mirrored. So we we'll click OK. And next here we select this face and we go and we create a new sketch in this face and here we go to sketch geometry and we select this external geometry tool and we extract this edge here and select this cycle tool and click in this center point and draw this circle here so here in this page we can see that the diameter of this cycle is 45 and here we have this chamfer here with this value 2 millimeters so we come back to this model and here we select this tool and we constrain the diameter of this cycle to 45 and now close this sketch go to pocket tool okay here we see this wall and click ok now to do the chamfer, we select this edge here and we select this chamfer tool and here we change the size to 2 millimeters and click OK. And next we select this face again and we create a new sketch. OK, here first we select this tool here and we select this tool and extract this edge here. OK. And here we'll select this square tool. Okay, click in this center point and draw this sketch. And now select this cycle here and delete this. And go to fillet tool. Fillet this square. Okay, select this again and select these two lines now these two lines and these two lines and now we'll select all of these arcs and and we select this equal constraint so these arcs is now equal okay and next here we'll select this point here and this point and now this point and vertical constraint and now this point this center point and this point here and we make it horizontal okay and next here we'll constrain the radius and okay so here we see a fillet of five and the distance here is six so we come back to this model and first we select this constraint here we set the fillet here to 5 millimeters and now we select this vertical distance tool. We select these two center points and we set sixth. And now we select this 
this horizontal distance tool here we select the center point and now the center point we set six so now okay we close this sketch here and we go to pad tool the value of this pad here we can see in this page is five is five okay so we change this dimension to five and enter and now to do this fillet here this fillet has a range of two millimeters so to do that we select this face and we go to fillet tool and here we change this follow to two millimeters and we click ok so now we have this fillet and next to and next to create this wall here we will select this face and create a new sketch so here first we select this tool here and we extract this edge so uh, and next select the cycle tool click in the center point and draw the cycle here so in this page we see this diameter 28 and we see the chamfer here with this dimension 5 millimeters so we come back to this model and we select this tool constrain the diameter of the cycle to 28 and now we close the sketch and go to pocket tool so here we'll change the value of this pocket we'll change the length to okay for example 15 millimeters yes now we can see this work click ok and to create the chamfer in this pocket operation here we select this edge and we go to chamfer tool and here we have only to change the size to 5 millimeters and click OK. And OK, guys, I can see that this part is finished. Thank you for watching this video.